Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete uh, for the Sega Genesis, I guess, although this game isn't actually available on the original hardware. Uh, this is a ROM hack of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Now, when you hear the phrase ROM hack, you might be thinking, oh, that's one of those things where uh, people on the internet take a classic video game and, uh, yeah, basically turn the awesome level designs of that classic video game and make them into shitty level designs. And uh, that's not at all the type of ROM hack that this is. Uh, this is very much one uh, ROM hack that hues uh, very close to uh, sort of the classic games and basically just... Uh, puts a bunch of options on top of it. This is essentially an amalgamation of all of the different versions of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. You can sort of pick and choose the different aspects of the different releases of this game and sort of uh, change and customize it to your liking to sort of get the perfect version that you want to play of this. And uh, this is, in my opinion, they, they, they did a phenomenal job with this. This is, I believe, the sort of the definitive version of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. You can, and me, most of that comes across in the options menu here. I'm not going to go into huge detail into all of this stuff. Honestly, a lot of this, a lot of these won't make sense in, uh, to uh, most people unless they're intimately familiar with the uh, different versions of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, but uh, suffice it to say, uh, this options screen basically incorporates all the different uh, all the different tweaks that were made to this game between uh, the original Sonic the Hedgehog 3 release, uh, the Sonic and Knuckles, basically Sonic 3 alone, Sonic and Knuckles alone, the two of them combined, uh, the PC release of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, the Sonic Jam collection uh, release of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and, uh, and even the prototype release, like the pre-release prototype of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and sort of uh, takes aspects from all of those and lets you sort of custom pick and choose the different aspects from those uh, different versions of this game and sort of, yeah, lets you, lets you make the experience you want. So like I said, and it's... And also a lot of other minor things as well. There's uh, little bug fixes and uh, all sorts of just like uh, little improvements, a little control, sort of quality of life improvements, you might say. And I, like I said, I'm not going to go into, I'm not really going to explain any of this stuff here right now. I'm honestly just kind of browsing through right now to make sure I've got all the options I want uh, selected. And yeah, you can choo choose the different music as well, of course, if you know... The difference between one of the major differences between Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles and the PC version of uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is uh, they had uh, different music for each of those different versions of the game. You can choose which music you want for each one. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into really going to describe all of these options here. Um, basically, each of most of this stuff will become relevant once we start the game proper and I can explain these things as they come up. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the game and I can explain those as they come up. So, uh, so essentially this is my let's play of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, which I've alluded to wanting to let's play for a long time. This is kind of a monolith in my uh, s sort of video game experience growing up as a kid. I was a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan back in the day, and this is... It was and is to this day uh, my favorite game in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Uh, that uh, that that is the original game, Sonic the Hedgehog Three and Knuckles. And I guess I guess since now this is kind of the new definitive version of that game. Uh, yeah, I guess this now, Sonic the Hedgehog Three Complete, is my new favorite Sonic game. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna start a new game here. As you can see, I've. I played the hell out of this game back in the day, and I still play the hell out of it today. I've gone through and cleared it with every single character combination. Uh, we're gonna... I should have probably thought of this beforehand. Um, I was definitely gonna do Sonic. I might do Sonic and Tails, actually. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's go Sonic and Tails. Do it kind of the classic way. Uh, one of the first little improvements that they made to this ROM hack is uh, you can actually skip this opening cutscene here. If I press start here, um, it'll skip this little intro where you get... Uh, <laughs> yeah, gets uh, punked by Knuckles here. So a lot of you guys watching this right now might not recognize that little uh, music track that played here when Knuckles popped out. And uh, that's because I've enabled the music tracks from the PC version 
of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Indeed, it's kind of a little-known fact. Um, yeah, there, there was a, a CD-ROM version of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles released back in the day at around the same time that it was released for Genesis. Uh, the thing was, is uh, PC c couldn't really do music in the same way that the Sega Genesis did back in the day. And is this, can I get this to work here? Uh, the slope isn't going to let me do it. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, one, one of the little quality, another little quality of life improvement here in this uh, little uh, ROM hack here is uh, the Tails Assist option, which I have enabled here. Um, basically, in the original version of this game, uh, you ba basically you could get Tails if you were using Sonic and Tails. You could get Tails to sort of airlift you around the place and make use of his flying ability that way. But in order to do that, you needed to plug in a second controller and uh, ba ba basically use Tails on the second controller to make sure that he could uh, fly you around places. Using the Tails Assist option in this game, uh, you can just do it with one controller as long as you, if basically if you hold down A in the air. Uh, you can get Tails to fly you around. Uh, one other thing that I'm uh, going to mention as far as uh, sort of what kind of playthrough this is going to be. Um, like I said, this is a classic game. Very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, honestly, I said it's one of it's my favorite game in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. It's honestly really one of my favorite games of all time, even still to this day. I'd, I would solidly put this at, like, I'd say within certainly my top three uh, 2D platformers of all times, uh, for sure. I was, I mean, and part of that is probably personal bias, per, most likely. Like, I was, I was a Sonic kid back in the day. I was, I had a Genesis. I was, you know, on the, on the Genesis side of the console wars. I was a big Sonic fanboy. And, uh, so that might kind of influence, influence my logic, although there are various reasons why I actually do think that the Sonic the Hedgehog games are generally better than the old school Mario games, and I'll maybe get into a bit of that as we get into the uh, into the playthrough a bit more here. But uh, yeah, for that reason, I kind of want to do like a good job, do a good complete playthrough of this game. So for that reason, um, I will be attempting to get all the Chaos Emeralds in this playthrough, and uh, so so that we can see the complete ending, see the Doomsday Zone and the good ending and all that awesome stuff that we'll, that that you kind of want to see in order, re really, frankly, to get like the get a true, proper experience of the game, really. Because, yeah, you don't get a good ending. You don't get the final level. You don't get a nice, satisfying conclusion unless you get all those emeralds. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing on this playthrough. Man, I got way sidetracked from the, uh, yeah, the whole PC version thing. Uh, basically, the PC version of... And that was just a little minor aside I was even going into there. Uh, the PC version... Oh, dang it. So, yeah, the re reason I was able to kind of cheese that boss there was because I had the fire shield, but I screwed it up anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, let, just to close off that little parenthetical, uh, the PC version of this game, uh, basically, I don't know what it is, for some reason, it wasn't able to properly replicate the sounds of the Sega Genesis, so actually, and for, I don't know what it was, for some reason, and so you, anyways, you could get uh, MIDI versions of, oh, I guess we're doing another special stage here. I actually do know the proper route to kind of get all of the Chaos Emeralds within the first two stages of this game. I don't really want to do that. Like, like I said that, you know, you kind of need all the Chaos Emeralds to get the full ending and do a proper playthrough and all that. But it's not really a proper playthrough if you're just, you know, supersonic in your way through all the stages and only really properly playing the first two stages. So I think what I'm going to do, what I've decided I'm going to do here in this playthrough is um, I've decided what I'm going to basically try and get one Chaos Emerald per act. And that'll uh, kind of space things out nicely. I think I'll get... Uh, get the last Chaos Emerald at, I think, a, the Carnival Night Zone roundabouts, maybe a bit later, if I screw up some of the special stages. And then, uh, yeah, that's how we're, we're gonna do it. But, uh, anyways, Sonic the Hedgehog PC version. They, uh, had MIDI versions of the original Genesis version, MIDI renditions of it, because the PC couldn't properly emulate the Sega Genesis sound chip. But for some reason, I don't know if they just couldn't get, like, good MIDI versions of certain songs in this game, but basically, they completely changed uh, some of the compositions for the PC version of this game. They just, uh, they completely changed uh, some of the music. So it's like not even, it's like new compositions and everything. And uh, that's one of the options that you have in this collection. You can enable the uh, PC Sonic 3 and Knuckles music for this game. And actually, although it wasn't just that, like, obviously, 
uh, like you can't emulate apparently you can't emulate the Sega Genesis sound chip on a PC or at least you couldn't back in those days and you can't really emulate like PC MIDI on a Sega Genesis but this is a you know a ROM hack that uh, is sort of constrained by the limits of Sega Genesis hardware. So what they did actually is they did a uh, Sega Genesis. They basically uh, did for this ROM hack. If you have the PC music option enabled, what they did is they actually have uh, basically Sega Genesis sound chip renditions of the PC version compositions. So it's like kind of almost all new music in this game. So that's the option I've enabled. What's one of the options that I've enabled here? One of the options. That I, like I said, that I'll be going into as they become relevant, is we'll be hearing uh, the different uh, PC, the, the different compositions in the PC version of the game that are different from the original, and hearing the nice little uh, Sega Genesis sound chip renditions of those PC themes in this playthrough. There actually aren't that many of them, uh, and uh, and a lot, of, most of them won't come up until very near the end of the game. So, uh, but the Knuckles theme is one of those options. So, if you didn't recognize the music <laughs> that uh, uh, that that you heard for Knuckles' theme way back when I first started up the game, uh, that's where that comes from. Is from the PC version of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. So, yeah, I'm kind of most likely going to be flying through the game pretty easily here. Like I said, this is. Uh, Honestly, one of my favorite games of all time. It's just a blast to play through. And I, I do like it. Like I said, it is my favorite. God damn you, Tails. <laughs> just keep slowing down there. There we go. That little skidding sound is starting to really annoy me. Yeah, just get hit by bombs repeatedly, please, so we can stop hearing that. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, anyways. Is that this game just kind of caters to all of my tastes in... Just video game level design, like all of the changes they made from Sonic 2 to this game, are just all changes that I really like. I'm gonna go crazy here. Do it. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and to the right. Yeah, I've got the quick kill there on the first boss. And for all my talk, I guess, about this being like a proper let's play where I show off all of the aspects of the game and whatnot, um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing off and doing some quick kills, at least where I know them, and, you know, shortcuts and whatnot, as I know them. It's I'm not a speedrunner of this game or anything by any means. Oh, uh, we get to hear that Knuckles music again. <laughs> Honestly, the PC themes aren't actually that good in general. I mean, they're, they're decent. And actually, the PC, specifically the new uh, Genesis sound chip renditions of these uh, PC themes. Oh, Tails, good job there. <laughs> Hitting the switch for me. Uh, anyways, I'm not a huge fan, actually, of the PC compositions. In general, I think the original uh, Genesis compositions were better. In fact, not all of them. I, to, in fact, without exception, I think all of the Genesis music was better than the PC music. But, you know, I, do, I can't imagine that any of you guys watching this are unfamiliar unfami with this game. I'm sure everyone watching this knows this game well enough, knows all of the music and whatnot, so... Just, you know, just to kind of give you guys a change of pace, maybe expose you guys to some aspects of the game, some parts of versions of the game you might not be familiar with. I thought I'd just switch it up and do the uh, PC CD-ROM uh, version of this game, the, the music from that version, just to kind of show you guys something you might not have heard before. And honestly, just to kind of show you guys a pretty cool ROM hack that you might not have seen before, because yeah, if, if any of you guys out there are uh, fans of... Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, and aren't familiar with this ROM hack, I strongly recommend uh, picking this up. Like I said, this is essentially the, the definitive version of the game. Whether you like playing it best, you know, whether you prefer the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 uh, music, whether you prefer, prefer the Sonic uh, 3 and Knuckles music, whether you prefer the level designs, or the, you know, the slight tweaks to the level designs made from other versions of those games. But whatever you prefer, you can tweak those options and customize the game to your liking. You can make the perfect version of this game to suit your tastes, uh, based on whatever options you want to trigger. So it's like... And uh, apart from that, there's like, you know, various uh, bug fixes that fixes uh, various problems with this game. Uh, just kind of, you know, little quality of life and uh, control changes. Like I said, the little Tails Assist option is kind of nice. Little extras that they put in to maybe make the game even better, if that's, you know, to your liking. Or if you're a purist, you could just go with the original options and play it that way. Whatever you want, this game encapsulates all of it. And that's s s sort of what makes it, I think, the perfect version of the game. Whatever 
it's like, you know, perfect, you know, the perfect version is kind of a subjective thing. But the thing is, whatever your subjective opinions are, you can, you can play that version of the game in this ROM hack. So that's what really makes it amazing. And this really is... Yeah, just even the like the little obscure things that they picked out to change for this game are quite amazing. Like tiny little things, like the way that the music fades out at the end of the la the act. Like you can change that in the options menu, or uh, or actually, oh yeah, there's a spring here. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, just, just even the tiniest little things, and then all the extra options. Is you you can really tell that this was obviously like a labor of of love by members of the community, and indeed. Uh, that you, if you look at the credits of this ROM hack, this is like a big team effort. There's a lot of people who, a, a lot of people and a lot of work that went into making this and too many to credit. As far as I understand, uh, sort of the main director, the main project lead behind this is a, a dude who goes by the name of Tiddles on the internet. So, you know, props for Tiddle, props to Tiddles for putting up this fantastic, uh, you know, definitive ROM hack of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, one of the greatest games of all time, or at least certainly the best 2D platformers of all time. Oh, I love, 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 love the Act 2 Hydrosity music. Oh, oh, damn it! Okay, so I've got, I've got the level designs, or the level layouts, set to the Sonic the Hedgehog 3, or, no, sorry, set to the recommended uh, versions for each game, which I'm not sure actually what that is. That little troll spring I hit there... Uh, yeah, that little troll sp spring I hit with the spin dash is actually not in uh, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles layout. Ba basically, yeah, in the original Sonic the Hedgehog 3 level layout for this stage, uh, you had that troll spring there. And then in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, they kind of tweaked some of the layout, the level layouts. Kind of, a, a lot of it was to just kind of make it more fair and kind of remove a lot of the bullshit hits and a lot of the you know, stuff that you can't, that's just kind of unfair and annoying. And one of the things that they removed in uh, Sonic oops, Sonic 3 and Knuckles was that stupid troll spring at the start of this act. And indeed, even almost by way of apology, actually, that troll spring, spring was replaced with just a free one-up. Like, instead of spin dashing, like you spin dash through the wall there at the start, and instead of hitting a troll spring that sends you back into the wall that's pursuing you and probably gets you crushed. Instead, you just get a free one-up. It's like they're, yeah, apologizing for the crappy level design in the first place. 